Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend. No, 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 wrong game. Super Mario Sunshine. So, we've got three levels to go to now, which if we go to the map, we can actually see. We have Riku Harbor and Gelato Beach now, as well as Bianca Hills. And if I actually go to the other side of the level of Dolphina Plaza, also we can see the airstrip over that way. Where we started off. And if I go all the way across this way, far enough, we can also see Rico Harbor over there. And where is. I think Gelato Beach is around the, the fin, or the, around the thing too much, so we can't see it from here. But it's cool that you can actually see other levels from here, so. If I can stop pressing the wrong button. Uh, we can also see that Isle Dolphino is in the shape of a dolphin, which is pretty cool. But anyway, I think while we're here, let's head back into Rico Harbor. The Caged Shine Sprite. We have quite a ways to get up there. So, let's get started. And we can grab onto this moving pole thing. Or we could just, you know, backflip, hover up a little bit. Or side flip, hover up. There's, there's, there's so many different ways to do things, and it's great. Can I, like, land on you? I don't know if I can land on you. I can spray you. And I think if I go onto the other side of this wall, on this flippy panel, I can actually go down to your level, and then... press the slam button, and you just go flying. That takes them out if you're on the opposite side, so... But anyway, now let's grab onto this pole. You slowly slide down it, while you're on it. You can turn around on it to get around, and then... Yeah, it's, it's fairly simple. You just have to get around the level. I also believe we can actually just get up from here if we play our cards well. Yeah, like that. There's a lot of bloopers on here that we can spray off, but they do come back, I'm pretty sure. I'm not actually defeating them properly. If we do, if we do kill them by jumping on them, the coin sometimes, like, goes off the edge because it goes to the side for some reason. But yeah, anyway, let's think, where, I'm, where am I going right now? I think I'm going, oh, down apparently. Oh, don't fall off, don't, no, 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 oh no. I'm down here now. That's fine, I will just navigate my way back up. Just like this. I can also take care of this spider wall in here. And there we go, I'm back up now, kind of, mostly. Oh my goodness, just don't fall off. Okay, so I'm meant to go over this way, I think. There's also, I saw a blue coin in the opening cutscene for this shine. And I want to get that. I need to be careful with this fish that's jumping out of the water. Let's go ahead and grab that. Continue. There's also that one over there that I kind of want to get, so let's go get that. How did I miss? How did that miss? Come on, game. Come on. Come on, that could, it should at least grab the ledge. Also, there's a uh, spider thing on the wall now. So let me just quickly see what happens if I... Okay, that's what happens if I jump into it. <laughs> I take damage. So we can't do anything with that spider at the moment, but I'm going to want to keep that spider in mind for later, because I want to, I want to, want to get rid of it. So anyway now, let's just go up as much as possible from here. I don't think I can make it all the way up, but I can, I can probably wall jump, or side flip wall jump from there, up to here. Let's see if I can actually get that blue coin now. Make sure I hold down the button for the whole duration. Okay. 
Winds don't hit me, please. Oh wow, that nearly didn't land. So yeah, there are a lot of ways to traverse the everything. As long as you have water, at least. Because if you run out of water, you're gonna have a little bit more trouble getting around. Also, the wind, you can also spray it, but... Oh, it's not worth it, because if it tries to knock you off, it's... Just, just ignore the, just ignore the wind. Oh my goodness, they're trying to, they're really trying to get me. Is there a blue coin here? I don't think there is. Oh, don't fall off. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, anyway, we're getting very high up now, and also... There's a different colored box over here, as well as a gray one down there. So, if we jump onto this and get it, we get... The Rocket Nozzle. Power up with ZR and launch. Oh, enemy knocked me down before I could launch properly. So it's basically a pretty good rocket thing because it just launches us straight up, which can be very useful. It does mean we can't use the hover nozzle though because it replaces it. So if we want to hover nozzle again, we actually have to go pick one up from a blue box. But there are some things we can, which uh, the rocket nozzle makes a lot easier, like jumping off of this Oh, like jumping off of this platform for this blue coin, if I can do it properly. Because you need to launch in such a way that it blasts you back up, but I don't think I did it in time, nope. But that's fine, because we can keep getting our water back. If you're on the ground or in the water, it won't launch you, so you have to actually get out of the water before, or off the ground before it actually launches you properly. Oh, come on. Don't do it like this. Oh, wow, I actually made it. Oh! Oh, come on. Get up there, please, Mario. If any of the red boxes were transparent before, in this level, uh, they aren't anymore. So we can actually get the rocket nozzle from different locations now, which is also very useful. But anyway, we've made it back up to where we were up to now. So, let's use these platforms here to spring ourselves up to the very top. And then remember something else I could do, and then just ignore that for now. So let's hop up here, all the way up, into the cage. There's a little thing you can ground pound on here to go underneath, but why would you want to do that when the shine's here? So let's grab the shine. Very nice. Let's hop back in. Secret of Riku Tower. This is an interesting one, I have to say. Also, what happens if I kill these spiders? Does anything happen if I kill these spiders? I feel like something must happen with one of them at least. Oh yes, that one gave me a blue coin. So let's grab that. Are there any others I can get? I don't think so. I think the other one's on the roof, so I can't... Actually, is it... It is actually in a good spot for me to get it. So let's ground pound that. Oh, come on. Please. Please. There we go, and do you also have a blue coin? So let's grab that. The deck hands are cleaning up the ship down here. Very nice of them. Also, when you're on a roof, you have to press the B button to slam up, or yeah. Which is different from everything else, which makes it a little bit interesting. But anyway now, let's go get another rocket nozzle very quickly, because I need one. If I can figure out where the good spot to get one is, that would be also great. Oh, I'm actually going straight towards one. Perfect. So let's go get that. Since we can get them at any of the red boxes now, which is very useful in this level. There are, have been these boxes in other levels, but we can't get them in those yet, so... But anyway, let me take this rocket nozzle and... ...fly around at the speed of sound. Uh, there's another rocket nozzle up here. 
Uh, also, can open up this little underground passage here, which connects to the rest. Some coins down here. But anyway, there's also this red graffiti over here, so I'm going to get rid of that for another blue coin. And now I think that's all the ones that I would be up here. Um, I feel like if I spray windows, something will happen, but I don't think so at the same time. Not here at least. None of these windows. I think that's something for somewhere else, but not right now, so. So, let's head over to the tower. Also, using the... Uh, what's it called? The rocket nozzle also uses up a lot of water in each burst, so you have to be careful about that. But if I can use it on top of this tower here, there's a blue coin that I think I can get. Just need to line myself up. I can ground pound to make sure I align myself up properly. And there we go. So I think now, Pro should have actually saved with that one. I think now, let's head back over here, and let's go into the tower, which is a secret level. Once again, we don't have Flood. And depending on which world you're in, you also get different secret level themes, I guess. So this background has a more Pixel Mario form. I like the wooden cogs though. Oh my goodness. The gravity on these platforms aren't exactly realistic, but it, it's a lot better than just sliding off everything. You will slide off of these sometimes, oh, just launch yourself. Oh, I got a game over. So I ran out of lives. That's not good. Uh, continue, please. Hopefully that means that if I continue, I keep my, uh, my blue coins, right? Right? That could be the one thing that's bad about dying, is blue coins. I have 18 in Riku Harbor. Let me see if I actually kept the ones I just collected, because that's the real thing. Is how many... is the ones that I just got, do I still have them? Can I see them from here? Can't see from here, okay, that's fine. Let me see. Oh my goodness, I have to recollect the ones I just got. Which was only two, I think, so... Oh no, it was these ones as well. So that is one advantage of saving all the time, which I guess I should probably do a lot more of. I just didn't want to because it takes time. But I, I should really be saving. Especially when I have no lives left. I remember when lives were a thing that mattered. There we go, please. Thank you. I'm not going to save with most of these, just the last one, probably. If you're going into a secret level, you should probably get the save in the last one yet, so... That is my recommendation. Also, I'm going to get the other hover no no rocket nozzle that I had, I saw on top of the buildings last time. Please. Also, you can use the tunnels to get up to this area up here now a lot faster. If you need to. Even on top of this building you can get all the way there. Nope. Please. Please, let me up. Mario, grab, grab. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. Okay. Let's grab the hover nozzle. No, the rocket nozzle! Does it, it? I'm pretty sure it just does that with this one, which is a bit strange. Because it really just put it all the way at the end there. That's a really strange rock, rocket nozzle box then. But anyway, let's grab this again. And then the other one. And those should be the last ones I missed. I would definitely recommend saving after every single blue coin. Because if you if you get it and then lose it, you'll, you'll probably already have marked it off in your head so that you remember that you've already got that blue coin. Which is not useful when, um, 
when you need to have it. And then you just don't, oh, don't think to get it. So yeah, save. Save is my recommendation. Okay, let's grab this. Actually save this time so I don't lose any of my progress. When I die and game over. I was about to say as well that there's usually lives you can get, or one-ups you can get inside of the secret shines just to make up for the difficulty of some of them. We haven't even reached the really difficult stuff yet. But anyway, just keep going. Grab this life here since I can and it's just going to make life a little bit easier. Okay, these these cogs are not fun sometimes because if you, if you get stuck on one of the sides, it's going to just keep turning which is going to keep making you slide. So anyway, let's just get across here. And these nails you can find in some of these secret levels, if you ground pound some of them, some of them will give you uh, coins, but I believe you can get lives from some of these, so... Oh, come on. I don't know which ones give lives and which ones give coins, but I'm... Uh, depending on how many lives I have, I'll probably just check them, just because. Okay, that one's a coin. I have to go slow on these to make sure that they actually register as being ground pounded. There's another life over here at least, as well. Oh, careful. Grab that, thank you. Okay. I really hope that they- What is happening? Oh, okay, I'm fine. The, the game just thought I was crashing into a wall repeatedly. Which is why the stars were everywhere. I really hope that they put more um, 3D Mario games in 3D All-Stars. Although that's really doubtful. But maybe. Please. Please, Nintendo. Please. 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 Anyway. Now that we have 10 shines. This thing has appeared. I don't think we're going to have a look at that just yet, though. Instead, I'm going to go collect more shines. So let's head back into Rico Harbor. Episode 5, Glooper Blooper Returns. It's exactly what the name suggests. So, I don't think we need to worry about the spiders anymore in that ship, so we don't have to worry about them changing where, which spiders are there and which blue coins they have. So, let's just keep going all the way to the end of this thing here. I should probably actually have taken a side path. Let me take the side path here. Is this open now? No, it's not. So that doesn't just, that's not open in this star select or shine select. But I can still get up there, I believe, without too much difficulty. And hop up here. Let's grab... Of course it does that every single time. Okay, I don't think I actually need this to get to it, but it's useful, so... But anyway, I want to actually get onto this platform here. Because it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, never mind. But now, if we use our rocket launch nozzle thing, we can land up here. Ow! And we have to fight Glooper Blooper again. Oh no, I'm in a pit. I'm in a hole. Get out of the hole, please. Ow. Okay. Good stuff. Please grab the tentacle. Also, I believe he has another move that he hasn't done yet, where he can, like, go in circles to try and hit you with the, your t his tentacles. I, I don't... I haven't seen it, so... Anyway, let's let go. And on to phase two. Okay, 
Oh, like, actually perfect. I don't think I want to try grabbing him while he's like this, though. So let me just grab that, please. Please, let me grab. Let me grab. Ow. Oh, I'm actually low on health. That, that's the beeping of low health. Oh, come on. Don't spray me. Don't, 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 don't. I need life. I don't think it's gonna give me life. I don't think it's gonna give me life. I think it's gonna give me death. I'm also almost out of water. Oh, good, 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 good. Actually, grab it, please. Thank you. Okay. There's the other one to go. Very nice. Let's get rid of that. And we've won, because he can't do anything to us now. Goodbye, sir. Let's grab our reward. Also, I'm pretty sure whenever we get a shine, we also get our health back. Yeah. But anyway, we're doing fairly well on Rico Harbor now. So, I think I actually might head back in. Just because we have how far we're into the level now. And let's get the red coins on the water. This is the infamous shine that I was thinking about earlier. So, I'm going to skip over that, apparently. Also, this guy over here, if you talk to him, I believe, enough, you get a one-up from him? Or no, there's like three guys, like, I don't remember. But you have to be, like, right over here when he comes past. I'm ashamed to admit, I sink like a stone, but it feels so good. So if you talk to him enough or something, I can't remember how it works. But he eventually gives you a 1-up from... I, can't, I, I really can't remember how it works. But it gives you a 1-up. And it's the most out-of-the-way 1-up in the game, probably. So... I can't remember where I found this information, but... Anyway. We have this red switch here, and if we ground pound it, it says... Collect 8 red coins before the time runs out. Good luck. So now we have a time limit, and once that time limit's done, we're gonna die. So we need to collect eight red coins, like in Super Mario 64, yes. And then we'll have to get a star, shine, that one. It's a little bit difficult to get all of these. But that's okay. Just need to follow the line of coins most of the time. Oh, well, that's an interesting spot for that red coin. But so is this one. The last one. And now, you see that shine there? And how it's next to all those bloopers? And the ship? If you miss the shine, you're probably gonna crash into something, or... You can land on a second blooper. Which can go all over the place, basically. It, it just goes absolutely insane if you miss that shine. I've seen people go out of bounds whenever they land on a second blooper. I've seen them go backwards. It's just crazy. And also, just missing the shine and hitting the logs is horrible nightmares. Anyway, let's head back into the level. Shadow Mario Revisited. So, the seventh shine in every level is basically just shoot Shadow Mario with water. Every 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 level. I'm not I'm not joking. So let's go after him. And be careful not to get sprayed or hit by him. He's very good at stopping for you and then walking right into you as soon as you get near him. Which is a little bit annoying. But anyway, let's keep spraying him and very soon he should you should just stop. Phooey, I remember, I'll remember this. 
But yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. And so we need to do this in every single level on the 7th shrine. There's a few more blue coins we can get in Rico Harbor at the moment, but that's all the shines we can get there for the moment. So we're gonna leave that for now. Let's go somewhere else. Probably to, um, what is it, Bianca Hills. Also, as we've been collecting shines, the Ring of Light has been expanding, and it's already filled up most of this area, so... That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's head into the level. The Hillside Cave Secret. We were very close to actually seeing our first secret level when we left this level, I guess. But anyway, there's also these types of pokey things now. Because they look like the pokies from whenever we've seen a pokey in different games. Except if we get near them, they sh throw mud at us and can't be hit. So we need to spray them and then jump on them to get rid of them. But anyway, I think while I'm here though... Okay, not up there. Not yet, at least. Let me look around for some uh, blue coins. Because we haven't done much of that yet in this level. There's one here. Ow. Also, there's regular different looking pokies that you can just spray into a wall to get three coins. Or you can jump on to get a one coin. Depends on what you're doing. And if we spray this... Um, if we spray this these flowers here... Also, if you rotate the control stick in a circle... After a while, you should spin somewhat, and if you're spraying, you can also spin and spray to make spraying things like those flowers a lot easier. Anyway, another M here to spray. Also, spin jumps will get you fairly high. Let me just see if I can get it to work. Nope, apparently I can't. Yeah, that's a pretty good spin jump. But anyway, I want to actually head up here, though, because I believe in one of these little holes here is a blue coin. If I can actually get up there, come on. Random spin jump, I guess. Also, while we're over here, these giant windmill type things we can spray with water? Am I crazy? Come on, this should be working. Oh, it is kind of... Oh, sp spray the middle, I guess. Or something. I don't know where I'm supposed to be spraying on this to get it to move. But by, m by spraying it and getting it to move, it's rotating the platform we're on, allowing us to get around like that, over to this blue coin, I guess. Not that we need to do that, but that's just an option that we have. Now, where else do I need to go? I believe... Yeah, up there is a blue coin. So let me see if I can actually reach up there, although I'm not sure if I can reach it with this nozzle. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Maybe with a bit of that? No. Looks like I'm gonna have to get up there some other way. Let me get rid of you. I think if I go into this water over here, there's also a blue coin. So let's grab that, and I'm gonna actually save so I don't lose any progress, because I learned from the tower. Imagine learning. Anyway. I think that's all the blue coins over here I can get at the moment, maybe. So let me quickly go over here, somewhere. And let's head up this way. Oh, and if I go over in here and spray something, get a coin there, but also a blue coin there. Okay. Well, sorry, this is definitely a better version than the original because there's no worrying about memory cards stuff. Although, I guess the Switch still does have memory card stuff to worry about if you use up too much space. Because in, in the GameCube version, you had to have an extra memory to save anything, basically. Because that's how the GameCube was. Anyway, let's grab that blue coin there. 
And I probably want to get another blue coin from somewhere. And so I can actually save before the cave. So let's head over to the trees over this way. So I think maybe if I spray this windmill enough. Yeah, that's a blue coin. Cool. Let's grab that and save. Very nice. Also, there's a guy back here who's covered in mud goop, so let's spray him. Phew, you saved me! Thanks a bundle! Nothing happens, but still. Can I not get water from this? Okay. This this tiny puddle of water is not giving me water. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's this tiny puddle of water. Why can I not get a cup and, like, scoop it up? Anyway. Um, can I please climb up into the trees, please? Because there is the blue pokey things again in some of these. I don't know which ones they are. There's also some coins up here. So if I can get rid of you, though, I believe. If I can get rid of you. Okay, that's just a coin. I was expecting to actually find a blue coin up here, maybe. I guess there is that tree all the way over there. I don't think that means anything. Again, it could be that there is a blue coin here and it's just not available in this specific um, shine mission. Oh, hello, Pokey. Let me just jump on top of your head to get rid of you. Give you some coins. Um, let me... you as well. I don't know what gives blue coins and what doesn't, so I'm just checking everything. I should know what gives everything. Anyway, let's actually start heading towards the hillside cave secret. We can go across these. I think if I bounce up here... No? I was so sure there was a blue coin there. Anyway, let's drop down. And let's just head over this way. Taking us close to where we need to be. This red electric thing here will shock us if we touch it, so we need to be careful about that. We will take damage. But anyway, we've made it all this way, so let's just head up to this cave. For a secret. And there it is, all the way over there. I do like the way the secret levels look. It's pretty cool. They definitely nailed the re use of it in Mario Odyssey as well. That's a one up there. I don't think this one's gonna be a one up, probably. So let me, but let me check. I know that one of those nails is a one up. But anyway, let me try to get across these blocks without falling to my death because of momentum. M momentum. M m momentum. M momentum. Okay, please give me more one up. Maybe. No. Probably not. Not with the one over there already having been a one-up. We also have these blocks that are going to try and push us off. That we need to be careful of. There we go. Also, this this music is really cool. Oh, jump! Oh, that was nearly bad. Gonna grab that one-up, and there we go. with that, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.